We're here at AHIMA 2013 with Stephen Bonney, VP of Business Development and Strategy from Basecribe. And uh, just want to start this discussion talking about, you know, what are some of the challenges you see with interoperability in healthcare and making the data, healthcare data liquid? Well, that's a great question, actually. Um, there's a lot of challenges. I think a lot of it stems from the sort of the lack of understanding by all the different players within the organization in terms of what's required to get structured data. I think that a lot of folks are sort of hung up on how do we force changes in physician behavior to get them to more actively use the EHR, thinking that, okay, if the government's requiring EHR for structured data, that must be the way we get it. And then there's a lot of vendors that are out talking about, well, we can get it from dictation and narrative, but they don't really necessarily fully reveal the steps that are necessary. And so I think once people start to understand there are other options available to them, uh, in terms of how they can create well-formed, structured clinical data, then people will start to loosen up and understand, okay, there, there are other ways that necessarily don't change the physician behavior. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the benefits of having this structured data and, and making it uh, available across the organization? Sure. So one of the biggest benefits is, is once you take the unstructured or semi-structured data and make it well-formed, structured, and coded, well, obviously, if you have an intelligent system behind that, you can create actionable business rules against that data. So you can say, hey, every time we admit a patient that has this level of severity, I want my case manager to know right away. Every time we admit a patient that is potentially eligible for this clinical research or clinical trial that we're conducting, I want the research nurse to know. And I want her to know immediately so that she can grab her clipboard and run to the bed and, and do a full interview and see if maybe that, that, that's an eligible participant. Hmm. And, and will meaningful use help the, this data become more structured or are there issues with some of the standards that they're offering? <laughs> it's a loaded question. There's, there's, always, <laughs> there's always issues with standards, right? But I think the biggest issue right now is the lack of understanding about what's required to get to consolidated CDA and the fact that to really get it without using the HR will be difficult unless you can get the physicians to, to potentially change some of their behaviors. And we fundamentally just disagree with that approach. We think that the technology should work to accommodate what the physician already does so that they, they've already been disrupted enough. So <laughs> can we get them to uh, actually participate in the process? Um, maybe. Can we have the system sort of accommodate their current behaviors. Well, sure, if you have good programming and good technology fundamentally, you should be able to create well-formed structured data that's shareable throughout the, the different healthcare ecosystems. And CDA hopefully will do that. I mean, it's, it's hopefully gonna do what HL7 was unable to do, right? right. Have a single standard that everybody adheres to. Hopefully even the government. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, thanks.